afternoon. It is 4 p.m. here in South Korea. I am Arirang News, AI anchor, Ari. There is just one day left before Koreans go to the polls to decide on a new 300-member National Assembly. For this year's election, the number of seats for elected lawmakers has increased to 254 from 253, with one seat taken from the proportional representation bloc, which dropped to 46 from 47, keeping the total number of lawmakers at the National Assembly at 300. The April election comes two years after conservative President Yoon Suk-yeol's victory in the 2022 presidential election, where he narrowly defeated Democratic Party's candidate Ji Jae-myung by the smallest margin in South Korean history. According to data from the Ministry of Interior and Safety on Tuesday, the number of single-person households in South Korea stood at 10,021,413 as of March this year marking the first time the figure has reached the 10 million mark. Data showed, single-person households make up 41.8%, or two out of five households nationwide. By age group, those in their 60s make up the highest proportion of people living in single-person households, at over 1.86 million, followed by those in their 30s at over 1.68 million. The government believes, that the proportion of single-person households is increasing due to the higher number of seniors living alone and the rise in unmarried people. It says it will continue to explore various policies centered on single-person households. The number of female employees in South Korea reached a record level last year. Data from Statistics Korea on Tuesday shows that the number of female salary workers came to nearly 10 million in 2023 a more than 280,000 increase from the year before. Women also made up a record 45.7% of the nation's paid workforce last year. The U.S. Department of Commerce announced on Monday a significant subsidy of 6.6 .6 billion U.S. dollars to support the Taiwanese chipmaker TSMC, a landmark decision aimed at reclaiming the U.S. leading role in the chipmaking arena. In addition, the initiative includes up to $5 billion in low-interest government loans, bringing the total support to $11.6 billion. Monday's announcement came as TSMC outlined plans to increase its investment in the U.S. from $25 billion to $65 billion, and to establish a third factory in Phoenix, Arizona, by 2030. This expansion represents the largest foreign direct investment in U.S. history, highlighting TSMC's commitment to growing its U.S. operations. 11 South Korean citizens have been evacuated from Haiti via helicopter due to worsening security in the Caribbean nation. According to Seoul's foreign ministry on Monday, the South Koreans were airlifted to the neighboring Dominican Republic, but did not add further details of the evacuation, citing the safety of other South Koreans there. Last month, the South Korean government evacuated two citizens from the country due to rising gang violence. The island nation has seen a rise in violence and poverty since the assassination of then-President Jovenel Moyes in 2021. Currently, around 60 South Koreans are believed to be in Haiti. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.